Following on from the previous video, in order for us to work out the surface area of an ellipsoid, we would need to evaluate this from from zero all the way to pi. So, uh, so looking at this, uh, we would need to find dx by dt. We would need to find dy by dt. So, given these parametric equations, we would need to find uh, dx by dt, meaning we need, meaning we would need to differentiate this. We would need to differentiate this. Well, differentiating, differentiating. Uh, this would then give you this. So dx by dt equals this, and then dy by dt equals this. So we can then put this back, put this back into uh, into here, into here. So later on we we have to square it, and then uh, and then get our dy by dt, which is this thing here. We can then put this into into uh, into uh, into here. And then later on, we, we've got to square it. So, uh, so basically, differentiate this, differentiate this, and then put it into here, put it into here, square it later on. Then this whole thing here will then become this. Will then become, will then become this. Okay, so will then become, uh, will then become this. Okay, so now, um, now we, we need to, well, th this is quite hard to, to integrate. So we're going to use substitution. Um, we're going to use substitution. So let u equals uh, cos of t. So if u equals cos of t, then du equals minus uh, sine t dt, and then rearrange it to make dt to make dt the subject. So we can now put this into here, and then uh, and then uh, and then the u here we can put it into here. So that would be u squared. Okay, um, and then this t here. This sine sine t here will later get cancelled out with this. Well, anyway, this whole thing here, this whole thing here will then become this. Will then become this. Okay. Uh, this t sine t here will cancel out with this. But um, but for the by by right, um, because we made this substitution, we should make the adjustment. Uh, for we we should make this adjustment and this adjustment. So up here, we are integrating from uh. From zero to pi, we made this substitution. So by right, we should make the adjustment to u equals to whatever, and then and then u equals to whatever here. But we're just going to leave it because because here we're making a substitution from from t to u, and then later on we're going to need to make another substitution from u to theta. So uh, so rather than rather than changing um, the boundaries, we we are going to later on. We're going to ch turn everything back into t, so we we can just integrate from zero to pi. So we well, we're just going to leave the the boundaries for the time being. Okay, so uh, so leave that right to the end, and then and then right at the end, we're going to turn everything here. here we're going to turn everything back into t, and then we we can just evaluate it from zero to pi. Okay, so 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 at the moment, hang on, let me just summarize. So, so at the moment we are working in t, but this is a very hard integral. So we need to change, um, we need to change it. We, we need to make the substitution to u, and then later on we need to make another substitution to theta, and then uh, and then later on we're going to switch everything back into t, and then we can evaluate it from zero to pi. Well, for the time being, let's leave this for the time being. Okay. So anyway, uh, let u be this. So uh, so dt equals this. We can put it into here. Uh, we can put the u into here, so uh, that would then take us to this. That would then take us to this. Uh, cancel this out, uh, and then that would then uh, uh, that would, and then this is a constant. Take it out, uh, and this minus here. Take it out. That would then give you this. So uh, so that would then take us to here, and then now um, now we still need to sort out this um, this uh, sine. Sine t squared here. We still need to sort this out. So this, so we've we've used this trick before. It's like me. You, so say you've got one block here and uh, and another block here. You can you can you you're entitled to add seven. Uh, so you you're entitled to take away seven and then immediately add seven. So it's it's the same thing. So here, um, so here you've got uh, you've got this thing here. So so we we're, we're just using a trick here. We're going to add u squared. Uh, so we're going to take away u squared and then immediately add u squared. So so it's really us not doing anything. We're just at, taking away 
and then add uh, add the exact same thing. So by but the thing is by doing that, re, by doing that, remember u equals um, cost squared. Uh, sorry, u equals cost. By you doing this, you're gonna get. So so hang on. So this bit here will will equal this. Okay. The good thing is that this thing here is gonna be one later on. Uh, that that's 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 how we we would get rid of this sine squared. Well, uh, this thing here. Well, exactly the same. Take away exactly the same. So it's like you four of exactly the same. Take away exactly the same. It will give you three exactly the same. So anyway, think about it from here to here. Okay. And then, um, and then, and then let me think. Um, yeah, this whole thing here will then become one. And then you've got this thing here. Now we need to make another substitution. So, um, so we'll continue in the next video. Okay. So we, we now need to integrate this.